Hello, everybody. Fossils and folklore is a fascinating topic. Creativity of the human mind led to various explanations given to the appearance of the rocks with strange forms that created numerous legends in the process. Today, we are going to scratch the surface of this massive treasure trove. I hope it'll be entertaining also will prove the point that fossils, by the mere fact of their existence, shaped many religious and non-religious views on the world around us. Let's start with one of my favorite types of fossils, shark teeth. In ancient Europe, they were considered to be petrified snake tongues thanks to their smooth and elongated shape. They were used as anti-poison remedy. The instructions to use such amulets should be to keep them in the cup with the suspicious drink for a while and making the content of the cup safe to drink. Fossils were a huge hit as cures in the ancient world, and they usually were used to cure organs that are similar in shape. Straight belemnites were used to ease rheumatoid pain in fingers. Round-shaped spines of some extinct sea urchins resemble bladder and were used to cure bladder diseases. Coiled snake-like ammonites are definitely good against snake bites. Interestingly, Greeks and Romans were putting ammonites under their pillow to sleep well. I wonder if the spiral shape was the reason for this tradition. Oh, the power of placebo. By the way, the placebo analgesia is a real thing. Seriously, clinical trials that are randomized, placebo-controlled, and double-blinded show again and again that, on average, 34% of patients have positive effects without even getting the drugs. There is a term, sympathetic medicine, and fossils are perfect for it, something that virtually every fossil collector would agree upon. However, some old ways were not harmless at all. For instance, some healers crushed belemnites into powder and blew them into human or horse eyes to cure sore eyes. I've read the stories that, in Japan, Megalodon teeth were thought to be claws of a long-nosed goblin, Tengu no Tsume. Take a look. They really do look like some kind of claw or nail. Talking about monsters, weirdness of the fossils often resulted in association with legendary creatures like dragons or even with the personifications of evil, especially if you take into account the fossils came from underground, and this is where the evil things usually dwell except for giants, like in the Jack and the Beanstalk tale. Devil's toenail is a common name for fossilized clamshells in Texas. Devil's finger is how the internal shells of squid-like belemnites are called in Eastern Europe. These baby belemnites were found in Russia, and this huge one is from Ukraine. These superstitions are not always so grim. I like the Scandinavian version, where belemnites are the candles made by gnomes. Cute. The brachiopods were called swallow stones in ancient China. If you decide to use fossils as remedies, make sure you test their radioactivity levels. Fossils are known to absorb radioactive elements, and we have a video about that on our channel. Good luck, and please take a moment to subscribe and help us to reach the very important milestone of 1,000 subscribers. See ya!